Hi, this is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop and in this video I want to talk about and give you a big overview of creating a website. And this is my mind map of creating a website and if you don't know what a mind map is, it's a visual representation of explaining a concept. And I really like mind maps because sometimes when I'm explaining things, giving you this visual view of the concept makes it a lot easier to understand. So this mind map we see in the center, it says creating your website. And then there are one, two, three, four, five branches coming off of it. So let's start with your idea the idea of your website. So what is your website going to be about? Is it your main site? Is it a membership site? You know, what is the purpose of the site? And for most people, they want to build their main website. Then on this site, you're going to want to have some kind of call to action. And a call to action is what action do you want the visitor to take when they come to your website? Do you want them to read your blog? Do you want them to buy a product? Do you want them to sign up for a free strategy session or consulting call or coaching call? Do you want them to opt in uh, for your newsletter or free gift? Or maybe you want them to call you and because most of your business happens on the phone. So you want to think about your call to action. And the next thing I have up here is user interaction. And what I mean by that is, do you want people to leave comments on your site? Or are you going to make a site that has no commenting at all? And you may not know this at first, but it's something to think about. Do you want your site interactive or not? All right, so you've got your idea. And then there's these four branches. And what happens when people build a website is they tend to start over here with hosting. They go out and they buy a domain name and they get web hosting before they've even really figured out what they're trying to create. And this can get you in trouble, especially if you buy a domain name, get your web hosting set up. This is all the techie stuff. And you might not know what is it exactly you're wanting your website to do. So this is not the place I start with my students. Uh, another mistake people make is they start with the design. They run out and either hire a designer or they're looking at WordPress theme designs and they haven't even built their content yet. So they get hung up looking at colors, graphics, and layouts before you even have put your content in. So let's talk about this branch. So this branch is the content. It's your pages, it's your blog posts, it's your sidebars, it's any videos, pictures, or audios. This is the content of your site. And the other aspect of building a site is your site organization, your site hierarchy and navigational menus. And if you're not familiar with these terms, let me just show you a couple of my students. So this is the site organization. This is the top menu bar. So this is Ellen's site, Divorce on Your Own Terms. And she has a start here with some drop downs. And then over here, she's got some resources. Here's Kelly and her site that she built in the Website Creation Workshop. And hers is pretty simple. Uh, she's got menu at the top and then just one uh, drop down over here. So this is the site organization and layout. And you can see these two people did it slightly differently. So that's what this is. So when you build a website, you don't want to make the mistake of running out and buying a domain name and getting hosting before you've even thought through and worked out your ideas. And you don't want to go buy a design until you know how many pages, how many posts, how many sidebars, and how you're going to organize and lay out your site. Now, what I do in the Website Creation Workshop, which is what makes my training program different from other people, is you don't have to get web hosting. 
you see we will set up and install a practice area for you so you can go and put in your content or block it out you can organize your menus and move them around and see how you want them laid out and then after you've got your pages and your organization then you can look at design like what design would be best appropriate for your site and then lastly you install it in your hosting so it is my belief the better approach to building a website is to focus here on your content and your site organization first before you pick a design and before you get web hosting because often in the process of building a site you are going to make changes you might make changes to your business you might make changes to how you want people to see and view your site and if you've gone ahead and bought a domain name and gotten hosting you know in this process of creation you may change your domain name and sometimes people go out and spend money on designs that once they get their content and their layout in those designs now no longer work so I hope this has helped you get a big picture overview let's look here at uh, divorce on your own terms her call to action is to sign up for a strategic divorce planning session and that's what her call to action is Kelly's she wants you to contact her so here's her site and she wants you to contact her to set up a call to find out how you can work uh, more deeply with her and on my site uh, my goal is for you to read the various different blog posts uh, to connect with me on social media and to sign up for my sample lesson freebie so those are three sites three examples of creating your website and specifically creating your website in WordPress this is Christina Hills